Hi, welcome to this introduction of OmegaTree.org. This is Arnaud. And I'm Peter, welcome. Hi. So, before jumping into uh, what's new in OmegaTree.org, let's take a quick step back and, and have a look at what Owingu did over the past 12 months. And, and actually thinking about it, you know, Owingu, we've launched five different releases over the lapse of, uh, of roughly 12 months time, a little more than 12 months time. And, uh, you know, it's been a very exciting journey. And just to highlight the journey that uh, that we took. Uh, let's let's take a first step at a Wingu Tree uh, A Wingu Tree we launched in December last year, uh, and this is also where we introduced a radically new user experience. We've introduced the Polygon approach. Uh, we've introduced the Workplace approach, etc. In April, we took this platform and we made it multi-tenantly available by default. So every Wingu instance is multi-tenant. Um, which means it becomes a very interesting proposition for specifically for service providers and ISVs. July and summertime, we've uh, we enhanced the capabilities and we basically extended the, the, the aggregator part of a Wingu with SaaS. So we've we added the single sign-on capabilities into SaaS with the partnership with Microsoft and Azure AD and also the partnership with Okta. Next to that, we also had uh, introduced and launched our uh, a Wingu all-in-one app in the uh, Microsoft uh, Azure Marketplace, uh, which is also very interesting, uh, specifically if you want to set up a quick proof of concept or even a, a, a production platforms. October this year, uh, we, uh, we we added uh, functionalities and a lot of layers. One of the layers being security. So we've extended the multi-factor authentication capabilities, adding tools such as Azure MFA, dual uh, security, SMS passcode, etc. And we also increased the customization uh, capabilities of the uh, of the platform, which is interesting for every type of customers, especially uh, as well for service providers, obviously. Finally, today we're uh, we're excited uh, to launch a Wingu Tree at four, and once again, it's going to be a, a a very big chunk of new functionalities, functionalities that are focused on increasing the user experience, improving the life of the administrator. So let's have a quick look at what those uh, functionalities are, and actually. Uh, you can group them in four different categories. First category, everything around end user experience and really improving this end user experience. Secondly, not limited to, but very interesting nonetheless for ISVs that are using a Wingu to sassify their legacy product. Thirdly, uh, and this is at the core of a Wingu as well, is to really make the administrator's life as, as, as smooth and as easy as possible. So we've added new functionalities in that bucket as well. Uh, and then finally, um, a first step into a very rich integration of, uh, of Microsoft Office 365 OneDrive. Um, we're going to show what it is uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in a second. Now, maybe take one more second to uh, uh, elaborate a little bit more on what the different functionalities are and then Peter will, uh, will show it yeah. uh, in real life and, uh, and we'll show how you can configure the different uh, functionalities. First block, enhancing the end user user experience. This is where we introduce multi-screen, not just dual screen use cases, multi-screen use cases, uh, where we introduce a full screen uh, functionality, where we introduce context awareness. Uh, context awareness in this case, just to pick up on this point, uh, is, uh, uh, is, is, is about defining a number of IP subnet ranges uh, in which uh, you can define not to log in with MFA. So you just have a login and password login whenever you're in your company premises, but when you're working at home, for example, or from a hotel, you would need to log in through MFA. Um, additional point here uh, is auto starting, auto starting applications, and, 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 and at the same point, auto focusing, which is the next bullet. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this. Peter is going to show it. And show it to be a lot more uh, interesting. Administrator and really facilitating and, and making the life of the administrator as, as easy and as smooth as possible. We've added a lot of new functionalities here and just to highlight three of them. One is we've, we've added an, uh, an integration with, uh, with Let's Encrypt, which basically means that out of the box, if, even if you don't have certificates, etc., that you bought, you can just you know, click through on a wing to say um, that you want to auto-generate an SSL certificate and it's going to be done uh, out of the box without any additional hassle. Second point is when you're setting up a Wingu, uh, you need to obviously import applications or create an application portfolio that you want to be using within a Wingu. Um, in this case, we've created an auto import functionality, which is going to you know, facilitate the life of the administrator significantly. 
And then finally, uh, we've added on request of customers the, uh, the capability to disable the Owingu printer. Owingu printer, which is the default printing capability in, uh, inside of Owingu, by disabling it, uh, it's an additional security feature because in some cases you will not want employees or contractors to print whatever they see uh, inside of the security sandbox, which is Owingu. And then finally, um, we have uh, an integration with OneDrive. I'm not going to talk too much about it here. We're going to show it in a second. So let's zoom into a first highlight topic, which is sure. multi-screen working. And uh, Peter, I'm going to pass the ball to you. All right. Uh, show us. This is my demo platform on which I will show the new features introduced in a Wingo 3.4. So the first features I'm going to demonstrate are the multi-screen and full screens. Let me start uh, some applications. In this case, I will start Word and maybe Excel. Okay, so typical use case is that people have two screens on their desk and they want on one screen Outlook or their email and the other screen Excel. So what I can do is on the polygon behind the three dots, we have now the open a new window option, which will actually start the Excel in a new tab. This tab can then be dragged along and for example, be opened on a different screen. So I have Excel here and on a different screen, I have my workspace and in active sessions, I can see I still have my words as well. So this allows you to have multiple screens and multiple applications next to each other. In case you are on a device with a smaller real estate or you don't want to be distracted by the um, buttons of your browser, you can always toggle full screen, which is exposed behind the three dots as well, full screen. As you can see, now you only see the application. You can toggle it by pressing escape or behind the three dots, there's the exit full screen. Okay. Wait, let me just close the tab to show you that if I go back to the workspace behind the session management, I can just easily resume the session as like before. So I will not save my Excel here. So this is the first thing I wanted to show. The second thing what I wanted to show is actually the auto start and auto focus feature. Very convenient, for example, if you want to auto start your intranet every time you log on to the Wing workspace. So I'll go to the applications and I will search for the Internet Explorer application, which is here. And there is a new field added, which is called Auto Start Labels. On the Auto Start Labels, I can add the group uh, Demo Auto Start. Okay, apply. So all users which are in that group will automatically start the Internet Explorer. I will start a new, a new incognito browser and log on with a different user, which is member of that group. So as you can see, I have a different workspace here and all of a sudden there's already one active session here. Let's start this and you can see I already have my Internet Explorer here. I don't have to start it manually, which is great. On the other hand, we talked about the autofocus feature as well, which could be very convenient for, um, for ISVs. So let me go to the system management console again and I will enable start in foreground on this application. There we go. So I will go back to the to the Awingu. I will log out. I will log on again with the new user. And as you can see, it automatically starts the intranet instead of first going to the workspace. We do, however, have our very um, well-known polygon here, which allows us to go back to the workspace, etc. So, so far for the auto start, auto focus, I will log out the session. Log out, sure, yes, and I know I had an active application, but I'm just killing it right now. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show is actually the certificate. So as you can see, this, this connection is encrypted and I have a certificate here, which is issued by Let's Encrypt. And this is really easy to set up. Let me show you. So in global, we have connectivity, and in the connectivity page, under the SSL of loader, you can see that there is a new option for a certificate, which is automatic. Previously, we only had manual, where you manually had to choose your certificates. But if you take automatic, you can see that this feature is using Let's Encrypt, and you have to accept their T's and C's, and then everything is done automatically. Great. The next feature I want to show is again for the admins to even be more productive. 
So if I go to the application server, we have created a PowerShell script, which can be found on our GitHub, which automatically generates a CSV, a comma separated file from all the published applications on that application server. So that includes the, the executables, some metadata and the icon as well. This script can take a couple of minutes depending on the number of applications which have been published. Once this has been done, there we go, this creates a file which I can then copy, for example, to a public drive. I can go back to the files, I'll go to my public share, select files, okay, let me download this file for now, okay. So in the system management console, I will go to a different domain and to the applications. You can see there are no applications configured in this, do in this domain. So I'll import these from file. Okay, choose file. I choose the right CSV and then I can set some default settings. So for example, I can add all apps to the office category and for server labels, this was a uh, 2012 server, which I executed it and I will make these applications available for everyone. Import, okay, adding applications. And as you can see, all applications have been added really fast, really easy. Then there's one last feature I want to demonstrate today. It's actually the integration of OneDrive. So in the drives, let me go back to the first domain. In the drives, you can see that there is the OneDrive. And the OneDrive has a backend OneDrive and it can be configured using the manual. Um, you have you need the client ID, which is set up on the Office 365 side. This generates a redirect URL, you add the secret. Once all this is done, the drive is actually available within the Awingo workspace. So let me start an incognito session again. I want to log on with a user which is configured to use um, OneDrive on my Wingo environment. If we go to files and my OneDrive, you see that there is a redirect. So only the first time you need to do this. So people will only be asked to do this once. If you continue, you are redirected to Office where you can again use the same user. In. Okay, I accept that the app can see my files. And there we go. Now I see my test folder and a document within the OneDrive. Hmm. I could go to the web interface right now to verify if these are the same files. So let me go to the office, OneDrive. And there we go. We see there the same files. I could add, for example, an Excel workbook. A test. So we go back to OneDrive. The book Excel is here. And if I now refresh this page, you can see it's here. Okay, this concludes our session. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, thank you. I uh, hope you liked it. And if you want to read more, check our website www.oingo.com.